Hi everyone, we received another box with stuff for the Trail Manor in it. Let's see what's inside. All right, let's see what's inside. Ah, we have butyl tape, always handy to have. And I came across these guys, valve caps for the black and gray water with handles on them and a regular garden variety hose adapter. Those are kind of cool. But the star of the show the star of the show is this guy, the Park Power by Marinco. It's a RV detachable power conversion kit. That is the guy. For me, pulling a cable out of a hole and then shoving it back in again when you're done just uh, didn't make much sense. Um, I like having my cables wrapped up and happy, makes them last longer. So this should be the answer. So let's see what we have in the box. We have the twist lock plug. We have a waterproof cover for the twist lock plug. We have the receptacle, very nicely built, water resistant. We have basically the back box and stress relief for the receptacle. We have a back box or junction box in case that's the way your setup is done. We have a cable grip or stress relief for the back box if you use it or junction box. We have a couple different adapters depending upon what your setup is like. We have some gaskets to seal behind the receptacle and the instructions to tell you how to do it. So that is what's in the box. Now it's time for the fun part, for the installation. If you take on this project, you do so at your own risk. Make sure you follow all included instructions and safe electrical practices. If you have any questions or concerns about the product or installation, contact the manufacturer before going ahead with the installation. Here are the tools we'll use for this installation. A straight edge screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a razor tool, an electric screwdriver with Phillips bit, a wire crimper cutter, an auto stripper, and a tape measure. On our trail manor, the cable was stored in the bumper and originally came out the side through the infamous mouse hole, which was abandoned when the transfer relay was installed. We'll find out how long we need the cable to be and cut it with the wire crimper cutter. There are cable cutters made specially for this, but anyone can use one of those. Now it's time to remove the mouse hole cover. Goodbye. Next we choose the adapter ring that fits the old mouse hole location. Then we find out that we need to modify the adapter ring and drill new holes so the cover will be on correctly. It's time to roll out the big guns. So the new holes are drilled and the adapter ring has been modified to fit. We check the back box for fit and cut and strip the cable jacket to length. Then we remove the strings and strip the wires. Now we can put everything together. The wires in the outlet are color coded, so green to green, white to white or silver, and black to black or gold. Put the adapter ring gasket, adapter ring, outlet gasket, and back box over the cable. 
Now install the outlet. Make sure the wires are twisted tightly with no loose ones to cause trouble. Double check the connections to be sure that they're tight. Fasten the outlet with the back box and the gasket to the adapter. Make sure the outlet gasket has the tab behind the cover hinge. Now tighten the strain relief. I had to use longer screws to accommodate the larger cable. Finally, attach the outlet, adapter, and its gasket to the trail manor. I put a half a twist clockwise to keep the cable at the top of the storage area when I installed the outlet. Install part one complete. Now to build the power cable. So step one is done. The receptacle is installed on the trailer. Step two is installing the plug. So we check this out and we can tell right away that is, the cable is not going to fit in that hole. So we're gonna see if we can attempt to not do any grievous bodily injury while we adjust this. Let's see if it'll fit. It will. Okay. All right, so that's that guy. We will install him on the cable. Uh, okay. Now we will take this apart. If I can find the right screwdriver, there we are. That should, that should do it. Okay, crack him open. Open this guy up a little bit. That's not gonna fit otherwise. Okay, let us see how this fits. Hmm, it's a very tight fit. But there he goes. All right then, and we will need very short cables for this, because these are both on here now. Now we will trim. All right, we have our end stripped and nice and clean. And we'll again go like we did outside, green to green, black to black, and white to white. White to silver, actually. White to silver. So you go in there, you go in there, and you're going to want to go in there. Right. All right, we've got our end on. Everybody's all tight. So now we'll tighten this up and then uh, slide the weatherproof cover on. And we must remember to tighten up the strain relief so everybody stays where they belong. Okay, rest the way we'll do with the screwdriver. And there we are. Now we're going to <laughs> attempt to slide this on. They say it's kind of difficult, so we'll find the notch. We'll put the little circle right there where the notch is and in it will go if it knows what's good for it.
There it is, it's in. <clears throat> Ooh, there we are. It is together. Now, the next step is to plug it in and see if it works. So the cable is built, so now it's time to make sure it all works. Now the way we're set up is the little arrow there is pointing toward the one with the leg on it. The one with the leg on it is down in the corner. So we just line those two up and twist. Take our collar and twist. There we go. I heard the microwave beep, but we'll go inside the trailer and make sure everything's all right. So here we are inside the trailer and we have power. The microwave display is lit. And the microwave works. We have lights. Success. We now have a removable shore power cable. I thought I would show you these since they were in the box. These are the new caps for our black and gray tanks. They're much easier to use than the old ones. Just grab the handle and twist. You had to grab the old ones on the edges, sometimes with two hands depending on the temperature. A nice addition to make trail manor life a bit easier. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when we upload something new. Thanks for watching and safe travels.